Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how I did my awesome Mardi Gras costume makeup look. So if you'd like to know how I did my epic Mardi Gras cyborg girl look, just keep watching. Taco, taco, taco. Morito. I'm going to sing the doom song now. Doom, 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 doom. So for this look, we're going to start off with a freshly moisturized face. This is my bare face. My bare face. Uh, so because this look is extra super heavy, we're gonna use a uh, moisturizing primer on top of our normal moisturizer so that we extra hydrate the face. So you can use any color pencil you want for this because this is will eventually be the outline of your face. I'm gonna start with a white pencil so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna start by just tracing around all of where I want uh, the metal pieces to line up, starting with this circle around the eye over here. Closer to perfectly round you can get the better. But remember this is going to eventually be black so don't fret if it's not entirely symmetrical now. You'll have time to go back over it later. I'm modeling this off of Cyborg from the comics but it doesn't have to be anything specific. I'm tweaking it a little bit even. If it looks similar-ish to Cyborg from the comics, you're probably on the right track. And of course now is when your face starts to get itchy, right? <laughs> so that's a pretty good start for where we're gonna be. You can decide whether or not your silver is gonna go all the way down the neck. Uh, I'm gonna stop mine right at the jaw. Now that everything's traced out where you want it to be, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Cream Palette. It's got this lovely silver right here, and that's what I'm gonna start with. You can use a foundation brush if you want to. I'm just gonna use my finger and just start going in over where you want your metal pieces to be, excluding this eye area. That's gonna be a different color. By dabbing over the lines that we've created for ourselves, we don't wipe away that line that we just made. And by not wiping away the line that we just made, we could still barely see it when we go back in for our next step. All right, now my finger is super silver and my face is super shiny. So I keep a towel handy so I can wash all of that silver off. So now I'm gonna go in with my frost palette. There's these great little silver shades right over here that I'm going to use. These are Eiffel Boo and Vicious. And so what I'm going to do, because there is such a large space, is go in with a pretty big fluffy brush, picking up a lot of that Eiffel, and essentially using a silver shimmer to set all of that cream we just put down. I'm going to take a smaller flat brush. I'm going to use that to lay on some more of that silver in some of the smaller places, like right around my nose and also right on the edges of these lines. And this is using a dabbing or, or a patting motion to really kind of press in that powder. We don't want the silver to go anywhere. You can, in fact, do your whole face with this brush. It's just gonna take more time. I find the flat brush helps find your edges really well and also just pats it in really well. So now that we're even shinier, what we're gonna go in with is a different brush. I'm gonna use one of these angled eyeshadow brushes and I'm gonna take that darker shade of silver called Boo. I'm gonna use this to kind of contour the silver shot side. So aside from just going in where I would normally contour, I'm also going to kind of go alongside those lines that we created to kind of make it feel like there's one laying right on top of the other and creating that shadow. Creating a little shadow around where those metal pieces are gonna line up over here. And also just underneath that eye piece because Gar's eyes come out of his head. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with Vicious just a little bit and help deepen some of these lines create a little more in-depth shadows where I want them. So 
So at this point, we're going to have to custom mix the green that's around Gur's eyes, and this is not quite any of these colors. So we're gonna take a little bit of this lighter shade of blue, a good bit of that, and I'm gonna mix in just the tiniest little bit of this green. His eye piece is a good turquoise color, and so that's what I'm aiming for. I'm just going to add a little bit of green at a time until I find the right shade. I'm going in with a flat lip brush for this. That's going to allow me to completely draw in the eye that I want. So loading that up with that green we've just created, and just filling in this little circle here, including that eyebrow. Now I'm gonna go back in with the frost palette. I'm gonna be using a mix of these green shades up here that's between Envy and Madame. And I'll be using a different eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna start off with a good bit of that Envy color. It's also gonna add a good bit of shimmer to this eye as well. Going back in with Madame and just repatting over everything. So now we get to move on to this side of the face. So on this side of the face, I am going to be using uh, the Urban Decay's Eye Primer. And I'm going to start doing this eye because we're doing something completely different with this side of the face. And it's gonna be easier to clean up around the eye after the fact. So get a good bit of primer all over this eye, including just underneath. And be careful not to rub away any of the silver that you've done. And so going back in with our frost palette. So this side is going to be mimicking your face underneath the cybernetic side and you can get however creative you want to with this side as well. And so I'm going to be going in with Queen, this lovely purple shade just because I feel like that works really well with all of the green happening in the rest of the face and also the rest of the costume. And so I'm going to be going in and just patting down Queen all over the lid. I really like how pigmented these are. My eye shape does allow for bringing things out this way. I do really like doing it. Also bringing just a smidge underneath the eye on that last outer corner. Also giving me plenty to blend into. Going in with a smaller eyeshadow brush, and this time I'm going to be using Carity's Nudes and Roods palette uh, because it's got some very nice shades of brown happening in here. I'm gonna be using a little bit of Velo just in the outer corner, and that's gonna help mute out some of the shimmer while also redefining that outer corner. And again, because my eye shape allows it, I'm going to bring it all the way out. And now I'm going to use a little bit of Abyss on that same tiny eyeshadow brush just for this outer corner here. I'm just making sure you really blend it out. Going back in with the brush we used for that purple, picking up a little bit of Banshee. It's got a purple shimmer to it, but it's mostly on the silver side because it's just lighter than that other purple we laid down. Gonna act as a little bit of a highlight. Also let us blend into it up here. I'm going in with a fluffy brush. Um, this was the 17 brush. I'm gonna be going in with Belle right over here. Slightly yellow enough to also tie into the green that's happening everywhere else. Give a little bit of contrast while also tying into the look. Now I'm going in with one of Sephora's flat liner brushes. This one is a 32 and good old Bobbi Brown gel liner. I'm just going to line both of my eyes. On this side I'm doing a lot of extra drama so I'm gonna go ahead and wing it. And then I'm going to just do a touch underneath on that outer corner. All right, so lining this eye over here. I love that towel handy, so I don't mind lifting my eyebrow, wiping my hand before I turn somewhere else, though. 
All right, so now we're gonna worry about foundation on this side of the face. You can use, of course, whichever one works well for you. I'm using basically my summer shade, and I am using the RCMA cream. So just a tiny bit on the back of my hand, and then I'm gonna go in with my concealer brush. So I really wanna help do a precise line around the edges over here. Keeping that towel handy to wipe it clean if I do have to go over any of that silver. clean up just underneath. You now I can use the bigger side to help blend through the wider sections. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my lighter shade, mostly for the inner corner of the eye. I'm still doing a little bit of contouring with it. Either side of my mouth here. Now what I want to do is powder everything. I don't want any of the cream stuff to budge anywhere or crease under the eyes like it might. So I'm using RCMA powder, but I'm using an ML or Mercier jar because it's just going to be easier to control that way. I'm going in with Wayne Goss's fluffy dome shape number four. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that powder on, and I just want to pat and also blend this in that hole corner that is a lot more heavier foundation than I normally do and I just don't want it to crease. Now uh, I get to do whatever I normally do to my eyebrows over here. I do usually try to match whatever's going on with my hair recently. I'm gonna go in with this smooth color. It's just a fairly ashy blondish color so that it kind of matches what's going on up here. Because we're making the side extra dramatic, I'm going to go ahead and extend the tail down just a little bit. Ooh, there's a hair somewhere. Now we're going to go back into this Makeup Forever palette and use this white color right here on a very tiny liner brush. This is uh, Carity's E21. And just scrape some out onto the back of my hand. I'm going to use this as the highlighter on the shiny side. We already did some shadowing before, so on the other side of those things, we're going to do where the light is coming from. All right, so done with the white. I can wash that off my hand. I'm going back in with that Makeup Forever in this black color. And you can use the same brush if you want. Making sure you wipe all of that white off really good. So just a tiny bit of black on the back of my hand. And now you go in and outline all of the metal pieces. You can also use a uh, liquid eyeliner if you like. Whatever's gonna get you that really crisp line. Forget if you're not taking this all the way down the neck, you're gonna wanna also line underneath. All right, so from here, I'm just gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara and I'll be right back. For a little bit extra, I'm gonna do some of this green that we saved from the eye a minute ago on a very tiny liner pencil. I'm just gonna find the center of the eye on, the, on this side, draw a line. Coming straight down from the center there. Just a small one, finding its counterpart on the upper lid and continuing that line up. And then without opening my eye completely, because I don't want it to crease, I'm gonna go in with my frost palette again. I'm finding that shade of green we used for the other side, that same envy, and patting that down on top. So using that Makeup Forever white color from earlier, finding the center of the eye over here, and dabbing a small line just underneath, and finding its counterpoint up top, and following that line straight up. And now I'm gonna go back in with that frost palette again, and go in for Eiffel, that's what I'm gonna use to set this side. Today I think I'm gonna go in with a nude shade for my lip, using that wiped off lip brush from the green earlier.
any color will work there. If you can rock yellow, yellow would look really good there. Purple, because it matches the eye, would look really good there. Black, I've done, it looks really good there. The, like, the lip is entirely up to you. I'm just doing nude for today. All right, guys, that is the finished look, and I'm gonna go get my costume and show you how it all pulls together. All right, guys, this is the finished look. I did spray it down with some Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is a hooded costume, and I did not want to have it rub off into the hood. All right, guys, that's all for this video. Be sure to like this video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below of other looks you think I could try. Check the description for links to my Twitter, Facebook, gaming channel, and Twitch. And if you try this look for yourself, be sure to tag me in one of them so I can see. I would love to see your creations as well. And subscribe to this channel. I put out new videos every other. Thursday. That is all for this week and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Well all this work has made me hungry and I live in New Orleans and this is the middle of Mardi Gras season so I'm gonna go get tacos wearing this face so nobody's gonna question anything. I'm gonna sing the doom song now. Doom 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 doom